I'm Jenny Williamson. I'm the Collections and Conservation Officer here at the Glen Vivian Art Gallery. I'm going to talk about the conservation of the painting Portrait of Catherine Morse, which was painted by Archie Rees Griffiths in 1922. This painting was recently donated to the gallery, in fact in 2016, and um, before we accepted it, um, it was important to establish the condition of the painting, so I went down to where the painting was, which was in the family's home, to look at the condition and to look at the painting. It's a fabulous painting, but it was unfortunately in not the best condition. The painting had um, quite severe paint cracks and it was very dirty, so there were layer, a really thick layer of um, just black atmospheric dirt and some of it maybe had been soot from a fire and there were also on the reverse there were a lot of cobwebs and lots and lots of dust so it was in not great condition but the worst part of it really was the raised cracks um, the painting had maybe been in a slightly damp environment and the canvas had shrunk um, and that had caused the paint to crack and then the paint to lift away from the canvas and in fact some areas the paint was actually falling off the canvas and it was very very fragile so we couldn't even bring it back to the gallery until I did some work on it um, in the house. So to do the work, what was important was to really stabilise it and to make sure no more paint came off. So I put a glue all over the painting and then bits of acid-free tissue. And the acid-free tissue um, acts like a sticking plaster, really, so that it'll stick to the glue and the glue um, will hold the paint down and then layers of tissue over it holds it all together. So that's what I did in the house before we brought it back to the gallery. When it came back to the gallery, um, I took it into the painting conservation studio. We're very lucky to have a state-of-the-art painting conservation studio, which is air-conditioned, um, it has full extraction, it has wonderful equipment, so it's, very, um, it's a great place to work to restore the paintings. So then I had to take off all the facing paper and the consolidant just very carefully, gently, little square by square, just using damp cotton wool swabs, using a moisture to sort of reactivate and solubilise the glue, so that all the glue I'd put on grad on the surface of the paint came off, but the glue that I'd gone into the cracks um, stayed there. Then I went over each little crack, <laughs> paint by little bit of paint by little bit of paint, just checking that all the um, paint was secure putting extra glue in when necessary, using a hot spatula, which is like a mini iron, to slightly plasticise the paint and to encourage the glue to flow between the paint and the canvas to make sure that the paint is really secure on the canvas so it would not fall off. So that took a long time doing each crack. After that had been done, it was then a question of working on the small paint losses because some paint had fallen off um, before I even got to the paintings. So the little paint losses were then treated by filling and so I make a, fill it, a filler using gesso which is rabbit skin glue and chalk. So I mix that up and put that into the losses and then when I've done that I'll do the retouching so that's I make a synthetic paint to paint over all the losses to match the losses with the surrounding paint. So there were a fair number of small losses, particularly in the area of the neck, on the arms, kind of in the background around the head of the sitter, and then there were a couple of losses in the face. So those were all treated. When I'd finished the retouching, I then varnished the whole painting um, to resaturate the colours and to bring it back to its, um, as close as possible to its original self. 